Welcome back to another charger review. Today I have the Fox Novo F4S charger and tester in for review. Now this is a product that I've had for a while so finally got around to doing a video to give you an idea of it. These are the included items. You get a car charger and a power adapter. They're both 12 volts as you'd expect. Taking a look at the top of the charger, as you can see here the four bays, the two outer ones are slightly wider so they'll accommodate the two 6650 cells or C-type nickel metal hydrides and you have a single button on the top right hand below the LCD display. On the top part here we have the um, barrel style input adapter and on the case sides there's nothing on these at all so it's completely blank. Looking at the rails now they are metal and they have uh, quite a good action on these, quite smooth and there's no stickiness at all so that's quite a decent side to the charger. And just looking at the other side on the contact points the only trouble you have maybe is with AAA batteries or AAs, just a bit of alignment on those. On the underside this lists out all of the specs and the compatible batteries. We've nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium as well as the lithium ion cells. These are the 3.7 volt cells and we just have some foam pads and ventilation on the underside. Now I don't have the box anymore. This didn't come with an instruction manual. It's printed on the outer packaging and apart from the design which has changed a bit this is pretty similar to what I got so you can have a look at that and it just gives you some of the features on the charge you have automatic shutting off you have reverse polarity protection it's pretty vague um, but possibly just about passable for starting off you know when you plug the charger in you'll see the display light up and the backlit display and I'll have a close-up on this for you now when there's nothing inserted you'll come up with null testing out some batteries that fit into this. You won't have any problems with protected cells. It's, the slots are long enough. If you're going to insert the 26650s or C types, you want to use the outer two bays so you can fit two of those in if you have those. And the space is a little bit tight, but you can still fit a 18650 in there as well next to the two 6650s. It's a bit tighter than some chargers that I've used but it hasn't caused a problem. You can also mix and match with nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium cells as you wish. Each of the channels are independent. Now the options on this are pretty simple. You can just lightly press the switch between the half amp and one amp charging. If you push and hold you'll get the cap come up which means capacity test so that will charge them up fully then discharge and measure the capacity and then charge them up fully again. The selection of one amp or half an amp for that doesn't make any difference to the discharge it's just the charge speed it will discharge at half an amp on this charger. When you're charging the cells up you'll see the top bars move across. Unfortunately these don't show the status of the charge, sort of two or three bars. You'll have to look at the voltage display for that. That's possibly something that I might have changed and the backlight goes off after about 15 seconds. You can just slightly press that again to activate it. Just comparing it to the Nightcore D4 which is a very popular charger. This doesn't have the capacity test function but you'll see that the Fox Novo is a little bit shorter and a touch wider. Moving in closer, looking at the display, you'll see the voltage for each of the cells. You'll see how much capacity it's put in to the charge when you're in the charging mode. And when it's full, it will just display full on this. This charger doesn't have um, an activation on zero volt batteries. If it's below half a volt, it won't be able to activate the cell. One area you should know is the fact that you can't select individual charging channel speeds. It's just all four at the same time, so it's half an amp or one amp charging, and that is a potential limitation. Next up, I have the beeper noise, which is featured on the charger. Now that noise can't be turned off and it will also uh, occur multiple times if you're running a capacity test too. Now on to the termination voltage test. I do this to see how well it's terminating the charge on batteries. For the nickel metal hydride I'm at 1.45 volts which is in the good range for a termination charge on that type of cell. Next up I'm going to try another battery, another any loop. And that terminates at 1.47. That's also within the very good range. We're looking for 1.45 to 1.5 volts. Onto the nickel metal, from the nickel metal hydro to the lithium, and we're at 4.21. That's just a touch over the optimal charge rate of 4.2. And another lithium ion cell. 
again 4.21 it's just a little bit over the ideal which is 4.2 or just under that um, but it's probably not enough to cause any significant problems one thing i did find is that the charger is a bit slow at detecting a pre-charged cell these cells are already charged and it should terminate the charge a bit quicker it sometimes takes between 10 to 15 minutes to turn off the charge the running capacity test now on those cells and i got a result of 544 and 539 the capacity test is quite accurate at least with the lithium ion cells and i personally find it a very useful feature to have with this charger because most of them don't have that feature in this price range Wrapping up with a quick summary and conclusion on the F4S charger and tester. I like this overall and I've been using it for quite some time but there are some fairly significant drawbacks. The first of which is the built-in beeper or speaker. You can't turn that off unless you are going to cut it off of the board. It's soldered directly onto the circuit board and it is loud and quite annoying particularly if you're going to charge cells at night or test them. That is an oversight from the maker and something that they should look at. The voltage detection was a little bit slow for the lithium ions on pre-charged cells. I would like to have seen a bit quicker termination on that. And you cannot set the charge rate individually for each channel, which is a limitation, particularly if you're charging lower capacity and higher capacity cells at the same time. On the other hand, the capacity testing feature is very useful. You get an included 12 volt car charger and the termination was good on the nickel metal hydride cells too. Certainly wouldn't be my first choice as a primary charger, but as a second charger or tester, it could have some use for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you find the video useful. I'll be having more of these videos uploaded shortly. Also, leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments on the review, and I'll try my best to get back to you as quickly as possible.